Hi, Akila. Hi, hi, Rina. Nice hi. to see you. <laughs> yeah. Same here. So, my friends, Akila Vaidyanathan is a parent of a 24 year old boy, an adult with autism. And uh, she is the founder of Amaze Charitable Trust. And she's also an active member of the Autism Society of India. So, welcome, Akila. It's so great to talk to you. And uh, thank you so much for having me, Rina. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Akila, do you want to, uh, did you ever do biomedical intervention for Nishant? And what was your experience? Would you like to share about that? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Um, so, yes. So, uh, before I talk about what I did, I, I would like to go back to that time when he was about seven or eight years old. And I first got to know about this biomedical intervention and any other alternate. I also got to know about Ayurveda. Okay. And um, since he his issues were not uh, completely resolved by traditional uh, therapy, he was in speech therapy and OT till he was seven or eight. Okay. So uh, since he was still not speaking, he was still slightly... Um, hyperactive and um, his motor planning was still an issue so we thought why not try out uh, the first thing that we tried out was Ayurveda okay. so we started uh, with Ayurvedic uh, treatments like the massage which is called Abhyanga and Dhara and we also uh, tried some internal medicine which we felt did not suit him at that point so we did not uh, give him internal medicine but certain herbs like Tulsi uh, because he was prone to getting a lot of colds and coughs. So certain things like that, which the doctor recommended and suited him, we gave him. Uh, so uh, we did find a lot of uh, change in that sense. Uh, he was much calmer, more attentive. And uh, I think it uh, the external treatments, the Ayurveda, Ayurvedic external treatments, made a whole lot of difference to him. Only thing that they did not have a lasting effect, meaning they would have an effect for about three months. If I did a 21-day treatment, yeah. then it would uh, last for about three months. And then after three months, I would have to redo the treatment. So it was setting the right something, but not really uh, obviously maintaining. Having a, uh, mm-hmm. maintaining it or having a permanent effect. Okay. So we continue to do these treatments and... Uh, um, but we slowly tapered it off. One was because uh, we could not also afford the cost of doing this every three months. That was one of it. And we wanted always things that could be sustained throughout his life. So uh, we we started doing, say, massages uh, when he needed it rather than every three months like that. You know? So if he's gone for a cycling competition and he's really having a lot of, uh, you know, muscular uh, uh, pain and then, then we would do a massage like any one of us so it, it after exploring it for about three or four years that is what we do with Ayurveda some of the herbs we still give whenever he has a cold or when he needs it we give him some Ayurvedic herbal tea so that is with the Ayurveda and then um, at that point I got to know also about biomedical and uh, we as parents in Bangalore I lived in Bangalore at that point we got together and we did a few biomedical uh, tests. We collected the samples in Bangalore and sent it across, in which it did indicate that he had certain issues with the digestion of gluten and casein, as well as the, his heavy metal showed very high. And uh, by chance, my husband also was uh, offered a transfer to the U.S. So we went to the U.S. and we pursued um, two and a half years of biomedical treatments which included the diet the dfcf diet as well as many supplements and we also did delays but i did not see any significant change due to that Uh, except for the maybe uh, the casein the milk product if i um, kept uh, at a minimum level uh, his stomach seems okay it did not really change his autism for me or his uh, ADHD or uh, apraxia for me. But yes, certainly I found that his digestion or his GI system were better if he 
had less of milk products. That is what I learned. Less of sugar also, which uh, um, also the test showed that he had a difficulty in processing these two things. Yeah, and I'm not sure. Because I started only when he was like ten years old, so I'm not sure whether it was because he was older. I'm not going into all that. There were a couple of other treatments that I tried, which really he showed significant change. One of them being auditory integration therapy. So we did the Berard uh, AIT, as they call it, in the US, and there was a huge change in the in his listening. He was able to um, listen with a lot more attention, and a lot of things relating to that were repetitive listening to certain music. Uh, repetitive watching of certain videos, which he was doing for the auditory stimming, came down significantly. And his range, he 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 really loves music uh, now and listens to a it's range of genres. So oh. uh, I think that was very significant for him. Uh, and um, well, I've tried everything. We've done horse riding. We've done uh, craniosacral therapy. We've done hate bot. Uh, I didn't see any significant uh, changes for the craniosacral or the hate bot for Nishan. What's that? So hate? I've had not. Acha H B O T H B O T. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Hyperbaric oxygen treatment. therapy. Yeah, yeah. Therapy. So we, but I've seen a significant change for another child in my uh, in our practice in Amaze with hate bot. So. I think these things were also vary case to case. I can only share what results I had for Nishan. So, yeah. So the H board or the cranial so cycle. The HBOT. I, how many cycles did you do, and how did you do them? We, and, yeah, we were in the US, so we did forty dives at that point. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Is he still off casein even now, or you give him? He's the not hundred percent off casein, as I said. Uh, we do try to avoid um, heavy uh, like cheese and paneer, but uh, it's not that he he eats cheese and paneer. He's a he's a chef now. He cooks, so uh, he wants to explore all the possible things. So if he does uh, eat, for example, uh, paneer on a particular day, we give him a digestive enzyme. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So we are not uh, after he was fourteen or fifteen. I'm also a person who's very pro-choice with my children. So I don't want something uh, that uh, you know uh, they have to make those choices. I do tell him that he he cannot digest this very well. And his stomach pain and uh, issues are related to this. But if he still wants to go ahead and make a choice and eat it, then yeah, <laughs> that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs>